Hello everybody, welcome to Music View. See, my brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Hey, salvation! It is real. Salvation. But why is this a lot of markets? Make a life a better place for you and me. So many of you that are trying to fix it. It's not that you can die. Music always motivates every song. Together we can make a better place. Uh, 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 inspiring, making it heavenly. One name less G, this is lovely. Music is like bring it to life. The melody with the gospel and the gist of Trika Shapi. Mm -hmm. Aye, the bigger, the better. We're coming together like brothers and sisters with love and so stronger. Yeah, music way better. Just G, it's more hotter. Music you is here, making a better life. Music always motivates every soul. Every soul, yeah. Making a life a better place for you and me. Together we can make a family. Music always captivate every song. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Music View. I'm your girl, Edo and Priscilla. Well, today it's gonna be a really, really exciting episode here on Music View because we have someone very important. But do not forget what Music View is about. We talk about any issue that has to do with music and we tackle setback in the gospel music industry. Today we have a bassist with us. He has played for national artists and even international artists. So we would love him to introduce himself. When we get back, you learn more about him. music view everybody do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel well we have with us our bath <laughs> you introduce yourself so i'll uh, start let's know more about you <clears throat> uh, thank you um my name is joshua fashino that's my real name but oh. uh because of what i do on the bass you know the way i play the bass you know my friend started calling me Agba, Agba Jushu, Agba Jushu. Oh. And then that <laughs> just become the name that i'm known with i mean all over you know so that's my name. If you call me Agba Joshua, yeah, I will answer you. Okay. Agba Joshua this then. <laughs> okay, so, sir. So, um, I want you to tell us um, how you started playing bass and why you chose bass. Like, amongst every other instrument, why bass? Yeah, um, you know, when, when I was growing up with my friends, you know, we were like, we were three, you know, we we're trying to learn the musical instruments then, you know, so we were learning the keyboard the drum, the, the guitar, and the bass, you know. So three of us were learning together. So when we, when we would get to church on Sunday, so we all play, like, but two of us, I mean, stand out. We, we could play almost the same way, you know. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'll play the bass guitar, so my friend will play the keyboard. Oh. And at the time, again, he will play, I'll play the keyboard, he will play the bass. So, I mean, at that particular time, I didn't even know which one to choose because we could play all, you know, so we're having fun. <laughs> I could play the drums, the keyboard, you know, so I, I, I didn't choose which one. But there was a particular time that, I mean, my friend played the bass guitar and I played the keyboard and I told him that, well, you sounded so nice on the bass. Mm -hmm. And he now responded that, like, I, I was playing much even better than him. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, you mean it. So from that moment, I thought that if the person that was playing very well, told me that comment. So I should consider it. So from that point, I stopped playing, you know, all of that instrument and I, I mean, I stayed on the bass from Focused like uh, over 20 years. I just stayed. So everywhere I go, I'll call, I won't play drums. But I won't play keyboard. Abba, Abba, <laughs> Josh Luto. It's really an Abba. <laughs> so, okay, those are your friends. Are you still like together with them? Right? Yeah, we're, we're, we're together. Yes. But most of them, are, the two of them are, are not into music again, you know. Only one, they are into different other things and they're doing well. Okay, so sorry, sorry, I want to look into your personal life. So, are you married? Do you have children? Yeah, I'm married, wow. and then I have uh, three kids, one that will keep, you know. Are they grown? Like they? Yeah, like uh, my firstborn is um, about 15 years, you know. I wanted to know if they were that big, so in case I want to get married, <laughs> I'm still single. So, those of you out there, please help me. The girl yeah. is single. <laughs> yeah, I have um, two daughters and a son. And yeah. Okay, wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. And your wife? Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so when we get back, we will learn more about Agba Joshua. 
See you later, guys. <laughs> I read some time ago that as I live, I'm making memories. So should I make them worth having? Pictures and videos help us track our memories. They remind us of the special moments. We at Asha Pixel add a touch of gold to that cherished moment in life. We preserve what's beautiful because they are worth preserving. been good you know all this while but um let me start from when i started you know when i started from my church my local church where i mean i learned the bass from okay. you know and then um i don't know if i can mention the name of the of the church you know uh, from the apostolic church you know right. that was where I, I learned i was taught how to play the bass you know wow. but because of the bass line the li the sound of the bass I mean, it was in me already. So as soon as I was taught, okay, this is where to place your hand. Do re mi fa so la ti do. All those lines that has been have been humming all this while. I just started looking for them, you know. And then from there, you know, after playing for a while, I played to the peak of the music in 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 the church, you know, because in the church that I started from, we have like let's say two style of music, you know. That's what we have. We have two style. If you don't play war, we call it war and high life. So after maybe sometimes they will play maybe reggae. Mm -hmm. So after those three three styles, so, there are no yeah. more, you know. So and then mm -hmm, I, I, I realized that I mean there was a church very close to us then. Yes. Then that we will be hearing all those worship songs. Ah, ah. they will be singing as if they are in America, oh. and we were just playing <laughs> only war and high life. So after getting to that peak, you know, I mean, I had to move to that church mm -hmm. and the church wasn't that far from my church you know because then i've played to the peak that whenever i mean when, when i wasn't in church people would know so when i moved it became like news all over that joshua has moved joshua has moved mm -hmm. you know so, so when i moved there because i wanted to learn more than what i knew so when i got there you know i now i moved to ebenezer based church the cross gospel mission wow. so that was where i moved to so i was asked to join the youth youth choir you mm -hmm. know that was where so with my friend Shergun and Buki and you know we were just together learning some songs and part we learned um, part of evidence of these songs you know mm -hmm. at a particular point they realized that I I mean I I could play very well within that group so they now moved me to the senior group you know so, so yes, i left all of them and i i, I was moved i was moved to so that was how you the, met ebenezer yeah okay. so from there i played with okay. the choir and then i play with ebenezer Obis as well i play wow. with him you know and then we we traveled to different states together to different you know concert different you know, revivals like this, so <laughs> through meeting big big people like this so i heard you played for some international artists yeah. a few yeah. so can you tell us more how you met them and yeah yeah Be before I, I i will get to that point i think after i mean playing for evidence i will be as okay. well too it got a point that i needed more hmm. you understand i, I needed more and i think grow. that's like <laughs> that is life you know because we have to always be progressing so yes, i had to sure. join my career my Karimu's group, you know, and then at that point, the bass player that was with him left him, so I joined him, and because the bass player that was there has set a very high standard, mm -hmm. so it helped me because I had to meet up meet that standard, like so I had to, I mean, do a lot of work to be able to get yeah, to that yeah, point, yeah. so that really gave me the pop, I think playing with my Karimu, I mean, it's what has given me the fame that I have, because then my Karimu's band was known all over, you know, and as I started playing for him, so a lot of people get to know who I mean I am and what I can do on the bass. So after that, um, I, I worked with um, this present house, Pastor Tony Raffles Church, and there we had professional musicians. That even when I got there, I was like, wow, like people that <laughs> all of them were professionals, like wow. team. So you understand from there, 
And then, you know, when I was there and I was with my career, so we traveled to the UK almost every year. You know, so I traveled there. So we had concerts, at, you know, in Nottingham, you know, Liverpool, um, Manchester, as in all of, I can't even remember all, you know, all oh, the yeah. places that we've been to, you know. Yeah. And then there was a time, you know, we were there for five months and I was like, wow. And then I didn't plan to, you know, like stay that long. So I, I, I actually picked my, my load one day and told them that, please, me, I'm going home. They had to beg me that, wait now, we, we haven't finished. I mean, we, we haven't done what we came here for. Oh, yeah. You understand? So, and then I came back home. And after that, I've worked with a lot of artists. You know, I've worked with um, Tim Godfrey. I've worked with Tosi Martins. I've worked with yeah. Nosa. I've worked with, um, 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 what's her name? Yetunde Are, I mean, Yemiti PS. Mm -hmm. I've worked with, I can't remember, I mean, all of them. So now, it's but, a privilege but, to but thing, you, know, it's like, ah, are you sure I would not tap for <laughs> your grace like I should yeah, tap for a little bit? <laughs> yeah, for the international, international. artists, okay. I actually work with a few of them, one or two. Um, there was a time uh, I, we traveled from Nigeria to Ghana mm -hmm. and then to play with uh, Ron Kenoli. So we had oh. a concert, so we had to, you know, travel, with, you know, to go and work with him and then with Yolanda Browns and, you know, s some of, you know, those foreign mm. artists. All right, sir. So I would say your relationship with this celebrity, you see, um, Ebenezer Obe, like uh, Ron Kelloni. Why am, why am I finding it difficult to pronounce her name wrong? You know? <laughs> Whatever. But have you been able to keep that relationship? Like, been able to, you still? Yeah, yeah. Are you mm. sure you will not connect me to them? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I uh, will go on another break, and when we get back, I promise you, I will blow your, we will blow your mind. <laughs> All right, see you later, guys. Place an order for one of our bedding sets now, and we will help you deliver it in a special way. Crown beddings, comfort and class. Welcome back, everybody. It's still your favorite show, Music Views, and we are still here with our Josh. <laughs> okay, so sir, um. I've been watching your videos. We've been watching your videos. Yeah. You know you're a celebrity, sir. Hey, <laughs> I am tapping from this grace. I know. I am tapping from this grace very soon. So, um, I noticed that you once played for people, but now you decided to go solo. Yeah. So, how has that journey been so far? Has it been challenging? Because it's very, very rare for you to see um, a bassist soloing in a song. You can see a lead guitarist. Yeah. You can see someone playing keyboard, a pianist. You can see uh, a saxophonist. But it's very, very rare for you to see a basis. So how has that journey been so far? Going so long? Yeah, um, for me, you know, I think um, we, we all grew, like I said earlier, you know, uh, then you, we all need something more at every point in time. You know, when you get to a point, you will need, I mean, something else more than what you've gotten so far. So because I, I've done a lot of backing up for different artists, you know, and then at this stage of my, you know, musical career, mm -hmm. I needed to express myself. There's, there's a sound in me that I want to express. Mm -hmm. So, and I wouldn't be able to express that if I'm still backing up for people. Sure. I'm helping other people to project their sound, but I need to like bring out what is in me, all the creativity. So, and that's one of the reasons why I decided to go solo. And then, like you said, truly, Bass players are not known to do solo. Mm -hmm. They are they are known to be backing up, mm -hmm. right? But we have, I mean, myself and you know some of my friends that have decided to you know do that from this part of this world, this world, you know, from Nigeria. So what we did is that we we decided to 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 lead with a bass, use it as a as a lead guitar, so you can actually play a song with it, you know. Yeah. That's one. Then two, you can sing and play the bass mm. like you will be backing up like you back up and be singing then another thing is you can have a group whereby you are the leader but you are not singing and you are, you are playing back up and other people you give them what they, they are going to be playing yes. but you are the one that is leading so mm -hmm. it's in three stages okay. you can be playing using the bass to play a song you know then another one you can be singing and be playing the backup and the third one you can be playing backup but arrange the song that other musicians will play. You understand? So, but I have decided to look into those three aspects, aspects, you know. But for now, I think 
the last album that I released, I sang, I played the back of bass. Yes. And then what the one I did recently, I used the bass to lead songs. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to arrange songs and then the other musicians will play along with me. You know? Okay. So, um, sir, we know that in every journey, you would have a challenge or challenges. Yeah. So, um, I would love to know if there had been any challenge or challenges so far. Yeah, there are challenges, you know, I mean, I, I won't lie to you, you know, one of it, um, one of them is that um, because you're just coming out, you know, and then people have not seen you in that light of being, a, yeah. I mean, a, a lead, you know, Business. you know, artist. So yeah. it's difficult for them to first accept you. You know, they were like, ah, what are you trying to do? About you? you know, mm -hmm. you understand? So you need to first win that. So, I mean, acceptability, you know, it's mm -hmm. one of the things. But for me, I mean, I know where I'm going and I know what I want. So, so you have to believe I, in yourself. Uh, first. Uh, you yeah, so, you. so yeah. that's it. one then. I mean, like um, we some resources, you know, we're trying to get more, especially financial resources, because now you are going to find for funds for yourself to push yes. what you call you're doing your own thing you need to look for funds to push it mm -hmm. you know and you need to look for apart from funds look for human resources and you know every other resources that you need you know and thank god that I, I mean some people are coming around to you know to help you know these are part of the challenges you know like resources both human financial and all of that you need to get it yourself to be able to push your own thing because before you are just the person that you're working with as uh -huh, yeah. look for whatever you just enjoy it but yes. now you have to yeah. now go and look for all the things that you will need to push yourself out you know you you will not really know what the person you've been backing up as and going through yeah, until on you to. face that particular challenge yourself that's why it's not really good to judge people fast you're right so um so thank you very much sir you're welcome um we would love to hear you play we want to hear that sound we want to hear you play so we'll go on a quick break and when we get back when we get back, let's just go. <laughs> when we get, let's just go. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. But, sir, before you play for us, we would love to know more about your school because we heard you have a music school. Mm -hmm. So, in case some people want to learn from you, and we'll also drop the link below so you guys can you understand. Okay, so tell us more about your music school. Yeah, um in my music school is called Agba Joshu Bass School, you know, and all what we do there is bass. You know, you learn a lot about bass, about soloing, about backing up, about techniques, about composing, about, you know, working with other musicians, about spirituality, about family, you know, with, mm. about finance and music production and a lot more, you know, so that's what we do there. And then uh, for this period, you know, like, um, um, March, April, uh, decide, we've decided to do a free, I mean, training, you know, for those that are interested, you know, so, I mean, the links will, will be Yes, will we'll drop the link you, below you know, so, so you can so just so follow and you are interested, learn just more about Abba Joshu School. Base school. Base school, okay. So yeah. just strictly for base, basis, yeah. that means base must be really, really wide yeah. to study, theoretical yeah. aspect. Yeah. Okay, um, sir, we would love to hear your word of encouragement to those out there uh, mostly those upcoming bassists upcoming instrumentalists only here if you have a word of advice for them yeah um for me i would say uh, you should follow what is in your heart mm. because i believe that god gave everybody something you know there is no one that i mean came here like i mean into the world without something you know <clears throat> excuse me um but i think um Sometimes you may be, you know, you may be deceived that you don't have anything. Yeah, you don't have yeah, something yeah. because of what you're seeing around you. Mm -hmm. And then another thing, you may look down on what you have, thinking that what the other person has is much better. You know, don't do that. Follow what is in, I mean, develop the, your natural gift and talent. Mm -hmm. Because I wouldn't have been able to get here if I didn't follow, you know, the talent, the bass playing, the music. The creativity has been in me, you know, and that's what I follow that brought me to this level. And we're still moving, you know, by yes. God's grace. You know, that's what I have. Then be hard working, you know, make sure that you're not distracted. Face what you want to do and give it all your best, mm -hmm. you know, and then the sky is... So great. I've learned one thing today. I should not look down on myself. I should not feel, okay, I, I, I'm not doing much, so I should focus on me, 
build myself more and I'll become a better bassist. <laughs> I want to play bass. I love bass. <laughs> All right, so we'll be moving on real quick because I am excited and I want to hear. I want to. I want to feel those fingers on the bass guitar. All right, so when we get back, we're gonna blow your mind. Trust me. <laughs>